Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah wa barakatu. Peace and blessings of the Almighty be to you. Welcome to Mo True TV, where we sit back and witness the fall and destruction of Babylon, America, as we march into World War III. The U.S. government passed a law saying that all 18 to 26 year olds will automatically be registered for the draft because America is preparing to send your sons to die in Russia and the South China Sea in the Middle East during the next next stage of world war three world war three will be the greatest war in history revelations eleven fourteen says the second woe has passed behold the third woe is coming quickly over the past few years, Joe Biden has allowed in millions of immigrants, military-aged men across the Mexican border. The White House is recruiting their own army to prepare for civil war, an army made up of immigrants that has no problem killing American citizens because American soldiers will be too busy being sent to die in Russia and China. And most American soldiers will not follow orders that involve killing American citizens and bombing American citizens. So the U.S. government needs their own army inside America that will patrol the streets during martial law and civil unrest and post-apocalyptic society. So America will use foreign soldiers that has no problem carrying out orders to execute and bomb Americans. President Putin, the current Prince of Rosh, a.k.a. Gog, is spending these end days gathering the armies of Magog, the Mongoloids, China, and North Korea. In a risky move, Putin traveled to China to visit the Red Dragon to form a military alliance. After China, he went to North Korea for the first time in 25 years to visit Kim Jong-un to form a military alliance and to form a military agreement that if any one of them gets attacked, that the others will come to their aid. And Russia needs ammunition and North Korea will send millions and millions of ammunition to Russia to help them defeat NATO. Also, Putin announced that he will give nuclear weapons that can hit anywhere in America to any of America's enemies if they wish to have them. Every day during the past week, President Putin has been giving daily press conferences and every day he mentions the word nuclear. Every day, the Prince of Rosh is giving mankind a warning in these end days before he carries out his task. His task of firing arrows all over Babylon the Great, bringing an end to the most evil empire on earth. Also bringing an end to Britain, France, and Belgium, the main four nations that destroyed Mother Africa. Russia knows that NATO has it surrounded and ready to invade. Russia knows that the great colonizers of earth, Britain and USA has turned their one eye of evil towards the land of Russia. The colonizers want to colonize Russia now and the Russians knew that this day will come. So Russia prepared for this day by building the greatest arsenal of nuclear weapons mankind has seen. All aimed at America, Britain and France, the three most evil nations in history. Ladies and gentlemen, brothers and sisters, the bear has its back against the wall and the bear will have no choice but to lash out and bring forth nuclear destruction and unleash the armies of Gog and Magog, China and North Korea to bring down Babylon, America, which is prophesied to be destroyed. And the bear will have no choice but to lash out and bring forth nuclear destruction and unleash the armies of Gog and Magog, China and North Korea. The Israel and Hezbollah war is about to officially start any day now. Israel has Lebanon surrounded with heavy military infantry and they are moments away from officially clashing with the party of God. Hezbollah means party of God. So we have the army of Satan, which is the IDF. They getting ready to fight against the party of God. We are in the beginning stages of the war between good and evil.
Once this war between Israel and the party of God begins, all hell will break loose in the Middle East. As Israel plans to kill as many civilians, babies, women, children as possible in Lebanon, just like they doing in Gaza. Israel is on a mission to kill as many Muslims as possible. You see, Gaza was the beginning. The Antichrist, the jaw war is against all Muslims and it will continue to spread beyond Gaza and beyond Lebanon and reach Muslims all over the world, including Muslims living in the UK and America. After World War III, the Dajjal, the Antichrist, he will appear once the nuclear ashes are settled down and the survivors of nuclear war begin to come out of their bunkers to see the earth burn with nuclear fire and poison with nuclear radiation. There will be no food and no water except whatever you stored and stocked up prior to the nukes going off. And through the great famine, through the great death, there will appear a Christ-like figure that will claim to be Christ. This will be the, the jaw, the antichrist, the deceiver, the false messiah. He will take over the armies of Israel, the IDF, and he will lead them to war against Muslims. Almost every Christian will worship the Antichrist because Christians are deceived into worshiping a human being. The Muslims will be the only people on earth who refuse to worship the Antichrist because Muslims know that God will never appear as a man. So the Antichrist, the Dajjal, and his one eye will be focused on destroying Muslims because he knows Muslims will stand in his way against his plot to dominate the entire world. And Muslims will continue to resist resist the Antichrist until the day the true Christ returns, the true Messiah, Isa, the son of Mary, who will descend down with angels. And his mission is to come kill the Antichrist, destroy the pig, and destroy the cross. And his mission is to come kill the Antichrist, destroy the pig, and destroy the cross. After that, he will pray to the Most High to get rid of the armies of Gog and Magog, China and Russia and North Korea as they conquer Earth. And once China and North Korea turn their armies towards the land of Israel and reach the mountains of Israel, then Allah, the Most High, will at once destroy all of the armies of Gog and Magog and afterwards the Messiah Isa will rule earth as a just ruler and we are living in the days of the return of Isa 400 years after the first slaves from the tribe of Judah were sent to America in 1619 through 1624 now that America has fulfilled her 400 year captivity of the tribe of Judah it's time for America to be destroyed by the prince of Rosh from the great country of the north Russia the armies of Gog and Magog China and North Korea 100 years after the caliphate fell in 1924 the Muslims are on the brink of a new caliphate the last time Muslims had a caliphate was 100 years ago in 1924, the Ottoman Empire. World War I was fought to destroy the Muslim caliphate, to destroy the Ottoman Empire. That is the main reason why World War I was fought. World War I was a war to bring down Islam's power and to split it up into puppet countries of the Middle East that we see today on the map. The Antichrist nations of Britain and USA, controlled by the Rothschilds family, wanted to destroy the Ottoman Empire so they could take Palestine and create a false state of Israel for the Khazar. Aryan, Ashkenazi, Gog and Magog, Latter J, Europeans from the Caucasus Mountains, so they could eventually summon up the Antichrist. And here we are in the year 2024. Israel has conquered the earth under the symbol of the one eye Antichrist dollar bill, Egyptian pyramid of Pharaoh. And after the Ottoman Empire fell in 1924, here we are 100 years later, 2024. Israel has risen up to begin their slaughter of Muslims for the Dajjal. Now Muslims need a caliphate again to protect themselves from the armies of the Antichrist. Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, said, Allah will raise for this community at the end of every hundred years the one who will renovate its religion for it. The time of the mighty arrival is close. Let's not forget the green comet we saw during the April 8th eclipse was a sign of the coming of the Mahdi. 
Muslims all over the world are now awaiting the appearance of the Mahdi, a religious leader who will establish the caliphate and lead an army of righteous Muslims against the Antichrist and his evil demonic Latter J forces. Turkey, which is a NATO member, has announced that they want to join BRICS. You see, NATO hates Turkey because Turkey is a Muslim country. Yet, NATO only tolerates Turkey because NATO needs Turkey's strategic position on Earth, which is located between the Middle East and Europe. Turkey is the bridge between the Middle East and Europe. So that is why NATO tolerates Turkey and allows Turkey to be a part of NATO. Also, Turkey has the second largest army in NATO behind America, and NATO needs that manpower. However, NATO has never given Turkey a membership into the EU because they are not white enough. So Turkey has applied to join BRICS. This is a step closer to Turkey eventually teaming up with Russia in this end times war. Turkey is the final piece to the puzzle before World War III can fully begin. When Turkey officially breaks away from NATO and align themselves with Russia, then know that the gloves are off and all hell is about to break loose. Turkey is called the house of Togarma in the book of Ezekiel 38 verse 6. Gomer and all his troops, the house of Togarma from the far north and all his troops, many people are with you. Isa, a.k.a. Jesus the Messiah, said before he returns that there will be wars and rumors of wars and nations rising against nation. And that's all we see in these end days is wars and rumors of wars, reports of wars, news of wars. And we see nations rising against nation. We see all these nations teaming up with each other. Russia teaming up with China and North Korea and Iran and Belarus. America teaming up with Britain, France, Belgium, Germany, Sweden, Finland, all these NATO nations. All of these nations are preparing for World War III right before Jesus the Messiah returns on earth. So my brothers and sisters, let's continue to stock up and prepare for the third woe. Make sure that you have at least 90 days worth of food and water for each person in your household. Three packs of 32 count water bottles is 96 water bottles. If you drink one bottle per day after the nukes drop, that will last you 96 days. You could buy a 32 pack of water bottles for $7 at Walmart. Three times seven is 21. Only $21 to save your life with some water. If you want to drink two bottles a day during the apocalypse, then buy 180 bottles of water for $42. Also, you could get 24 count of tuna fish for $24 on Amazon. You get 24 count of canned chicken, which is $42 on Amazon. You will need your protein to survive and have energy. A 50 pound bag of rice will cost you about $100. If if you eat half a cup a day, that's 100 days worth of rice. Stay prayed up, stay bowed down, get ready to survive post World War III. Make sure that your food is ready, water, guns, ammo protection, fire, lights, and medicine. Press like and subscribe and hit that bell notification button so you don't miss out on my future videos as we sit back and witness the fall and destruction of Babylon America. I'm out. Thank you.